Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back at you again with another video. Um, at this time, I'm going to do my review of the ZTE Exxon M foldable smartphone. All right. <clears throat> now, this is not going to be a super long video. It's pretty going to be pretty quick. Um, now, just really quick. The five things you might want to look in a smartphone when you're looking for one, if this matters to you. Now, these are the things that matter to me. So I'll give you my five staples of what you want in a smartphone. First being the hardware, meaning the build quality. Is it made of premium materials? Do you care about the build quality? I do. Number two, the software. Are you getting a very snappy, smooth, lag-free experience along with timely updates? That matters. Number three, the display. The display is the thing that you interact, you know, with the most. Because, I mean, because the, the screen is the phone. So, of course, you're interacting with the display constantly all the time. Okay? So, the display, you want a high-quality display. At least I do. Number four, the battery. You want great battery life. Meaning, you want a battery that has good standby, great standby time and is optimized very well. Um, Apple has done this extremely well with their newest flagship, the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. Also, OnePlus has done this extremely well, optimizing their battery life. Um, LG has done a lot better. Well, LG has always, always had great standby time on their devices. Um, Samsung, I get great battery life. I did with the Note 9 and also with the Note 10 Plus now, but still the standby time is not all that great and I, I just hope one day they get better with that also number five and the last thing which for some people it's the first thing the camera you want a phone that has a great camera it doesn't have to be the best camera on the market but it has to at least be of really good quality you know photos you know that you can live with you know they don't have to be pixel three quality but they got to be at least decent so those things matter all right all right, quickly into the things first that I don't like about the ZTE Exxon M. Number one, no cases for the device. Couldn't find any, okay? I'm not saying there might not be some out there, but just based on how this phone is made, I don't even think they make any. But that's my first gripe, no case for the device. Second thing is the device expands outward. And I'll show you that really quick. You grab it. And it expands outward, which I don't like. Okay? I don't like that. Hold on a second. Now, once it does expand, it's cool, as you can see here. I'm sorry. Change the camera view on this. See? It expands outward. Now, that's, that's cool and everything, but, you know, still, that's a problem. I don't like the fact that it expands outward. I wish it expands inward, okay? Because with it expanding outward, all the display is always vulnerable to getting broke, cracked, shattered. You know, it's always exposed to getting broken. So I don't like that. Number three, the, finger, the fingerprint sensor is on the left side, right there. Fingerprint sensor and the power button is right there on the side. Hope you can see that. I don't like that. Why? Because I'm right-handed. <laughs> so it's just awkward. Every time I grab the phone, I got to try to use my index finger to unlock the phone as opposed to it being here or on the top. I could have even dealt with it if it was on top of the device. You know, so when I grab it, I just take my finger up there. It's just been pretty simple. But just being over there, it's just I don't like that. Okay? I don't like it at all. The next thing. Number four, no double tap to wake the device. You have to press the power button, which is the fingerprint sensor, in order to get the screen to come on. I don't like that. I wish it was a double tap to wake the device, and then, you know, you could use other means by opening it, okay? Number five, no tilt to wake the device. You can't move it or tilt it any kind of way to make it, you know, light up to, for the display to turn on. I don't like that. Next Number six, poor display quality, no full HD 
or quad HD. It does have 1080p, but it's not full HD. Okay. It's okay, but it's not a great, it's just not a great device and it doesn't get bright enough for me. Okay. So the display is mediocre and that's a big deal to me because I'm all about display quality. I'm all about that. All right. Number seven, no software updates. ZTE, they're bad at that. They don't care about the phone. They don't sell that much or whatever. Then they don't give you timely updates. That's a problem. Number eight, the software is laggy. I've noticed that. Been using it for the last few weeks and the phone is very laggy. I cannot take having a laggy device. I can't do it. Okay. I can't tolerate that at all. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Dealing with a cold. Number nine, very few features. It has is basically just stock Android, which I cannot stand because stock Android is extremely boring to me. It's just that's just the way it is. Okay, for me, it's boring. All right, number ten can be difficult to open, which I think I said. You know, it's just kind of annoying trying to open the thing. Um, number eleven, no facial unlock. You can't even open this device with your face. And it has a camera on the front, but no facial recognition. I don't like that. Large bezels. I don't like these large bezels. Now, with the phone open fully, it's not that big of a deal. But when you close it, I just don't like I just don't like how big thick these bezels are. I just don't. Okay? That's just me. Alright. The not number 13. The notch or the cutout in the middle of the display. Let me open it back up for you. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. You drop it, everything's exposed, and you can crack the screen. Oh, it's annoying. All right. Uh, see, this big line right down the middle. Sorry, that's not straight. See, the big line down the middle. And then say you want to watch a movie, you got to deal with that. And you just got to try, you know, to get over it. You got to try to, you got to try to deal with it the best you can. This failure is unacceptable. Okay. Considering this attack took that place big one line. from my country, now, Sovereign you could adjust, but it's, it's I just annoying because it's so here. big. So, it's this council. I don't like that. Camera quality is poor. It's really not very good. Camera quality is not really good at all. Um, it's, you know less than average it's just it's just not good okay now those are the f and then um the last thing i'm sorry no always on display so it has no always on display the screen is just always black and dark and it, it you can't do anything to make it turn on except um to hit the power button to get it to light up so those are the all things i don't like about this particular device the zte exxon m Quickly, I'll tell you about the things that I do like. <clears throat> the build quality on this device, I got to say, it's top quality. It's very sturdy. When you open the phone up, it's snappy. It stays in place. Um, when you close it, it closes with a nice snap. It has nice weight to it. So it has the build quality on this device is excellent. I really like it a lot. Number two, it has a headphone jack which they're taking so many headphone jacks off of phones these days. See it right there? It has a headphone jack. And I've used my headphones on it. And um, things sounded, the, the, the sound quality was good. I was impressed. It, it was good. Number three, it has dual stereo speakers. It has two on the bottom and has one in the earpiece. I like that. And they sound pretty, fairly decent. Uh, number four, it has great battery life. The battery life on this device, I got to say, is really, really good. I mean, I've gotten three days of battery life on this phone. I mean, it's really, maybe because the resolution is so low, but it battery life is not a problem. And number five, it's excellent for multitasking. So say you want to open up two different things. Say I want to open up this Bible app. But first, I gotta change this to that. Say, so give you dual screens. Say, I wanna open up this battery app. Wait a minute. Did I do it right that time? Hold up. 
Hold on, y'all. Okay, this is it. Sorry. So I want to open that up. Okay. So I got this Bible app open, and I'm going to open this one. And they're both open at the same time. So while I'm in this Bible app, I'm also in this Bible app. I, I love that. Like the multitasking on here is unbelievable. It's a beast. I love that. If you like to multitask to be able to do two things at the same time, but, and I could do that on my note 10 plus, of course, but as you're talking just one screen, we're talking literally two screens and you're getting the whole screen. So that's my favorite part. You know, that's my favorite feature of this whole entire device is multitasking. Because I love this. I mean, that that's just awesome. I just love that. Okay? So that's my favorite feature. Alrighty. Can change it back to one. See, you can do one. If you don't mind the thing in the middle, which I don't really care for that much. Alright. And number six, it's good for gaming because of the size of the screen. And I did put a game in here somewhere. Now I'm I I'm just being honest. I'm I don't play games on my devices. I just don't. I'm not a gamer. I watch a lot of videos, a lot of movies, stream music, you know, just do the average stuff that most people do, text and and you know, make phone calls and surf the net, but I don't play games on my phone. I just don't. That's just not my thing. But I think I did download a game on here somewhere. Just wanted to show you really quick what it looked like. If I can find it. I think I loaded two games. Okay, I think I may have found one here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, don't want to log in. Just want to play. Okay. Now this one is cool. Now I like the way this looks. You know, if you if that you know little piece in the thing don't in the middle don't bother you. It's it's a nice large screen for playing games on it. Now I don't know about the high intensity type games. Could it handle that? I don't know. I didn't test it for that because I'm just not a gamer. I don't play games. So I picked something relatively simple, like this little racing game here on a motorcycle. And I enjoyed it because the screen is nice and big. You know, it's clear. It's sharp. And it's cool. It's fun. So I didn't, I didn't play any of the top flight games on here, so I don't know how it would look, but you can judge that for yourself, because remember, this phone is, you can get this phone for like, basically 120 bucks, it's cheap, so, for, for for gaming, it's cool, and the last thing I like about it, you can use it as a stand, let me take it off here, you can bend it like that, and then, the person on the other end could either, you know, if you're watching a the movie, they can watch the same movie you're watching. But I like that you could basically turn it into a stand. So say I'm going to put on the movie on that end. Uh. See, and it's its own stand. And that's cool. But it's also playing on the other side, too. So... The person, like, you can actually share watching a movie with another person. You're watching it on this side, and they're watching the same movie on that side. And that's cool. I like that. Okay? So that's something I like as well. All righty. So, um, now, the, there's a, there is a button on the side. Um, it's, when it, when it, by default, it's supposed to set some TV mode, but I changed it. This button right there. Now I had it set up when you push it. I think you push it and hold it, sorry. It takes me right to YouTube. That's what I used it for. So you can change that. 
um, when you first use it, set up for some TV mode or something. But you can hit that and it'll go right to, you can set it for whatever app that you want. I have it set to go right to YouTube. Okay, you have your power, you know, your volume and you have your SIM tray right here. You know, your volume button here and then your power button and it has the built-in fingerprint sensor. You do have a front camera, but like I said, it's mediocre. You have your headphone jack at the top. And like I said, the build quality, let me turn around so you can see the back of it. You know, it's 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 pretty solid. You know, when you close it up, you hear that little snap, and I like that. Open it up, you hear that little snap. So it's solid. See that? Hear that? This is nice, heavy, durable. This this is not cheap at all. This is high quality materials they use to make this device. So that much I'm impressed with. And as you can hear the speakers, speakers are pretty loud. Okay? So now, could this phone be my daily driver? No. And I'm going to tell you why. Because of the things that I said I didn't like about it. It's laggy. Cameras are average. Um, the screen is not good enough. Um, there's no cases for it. And I, I use cases on my devices to protect them. Um, it does have external... Um, exter um, you know, you could expand the memory to it. I do like that up to 128 gigs. So that's cool. I like that as a memory, you know, memory card. So that's cool. But the bezels are too thick. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just okay. Now for a novelty device to carry around and say, look, I got something nobody else is carrying. That's basically what you get it for. Or you may get it for just gaming. Maybe you just want to game on something like this that can go from being, you know, one minute a regular phone and then open it up like a tablet. Because that's basically what this, you know, this function is like. You basically close it. It's just, you know, a small device. You open it up and it's like a tablet. So that's cool. Okay? It's not a horrible device. But it's not, for me, my daily driver, everyday device I, everyday device I could use. I just, it just, it just doesn't cut it for me. It's just have too many, it's like... That screen is a big issue for me. The fact that I can't protect it except for putting a screen protector on it. And I don't really like screen protectors. So, no case. It, it folds outwardly as opposed to inwardly. Um, the crease in the middle is, you know, I guess you can try to get used to that. Um, Sometimes it annoys me. So, but, you know, it's like I said, I'm not trying to discourage you from getting it. If you want to get it, maybe you want to get it for one of your kids or you know as a gift for somebody and there's nothing wrong with that and it's not a horrible device but it's not a device i can use on a regular basis but the galaxy fold definitely that phone but that phone is two thousand dollars and that's not happening i'm not spending no two thousand dollars on no, no device now the thing that was unfortunate with this device when it first came out two years ago i was told it was 750 to 800 dollars which is a shame because they should have, you know, for as much money as they were charging, they really should have made better camera, better, a higher resolution screen. And they should have had some some way, you know, to, to get a case on it, to protect it some kind of way. Even if you would just protect, you know, putting a, something over the bezels or something. Just something, you know, where you, if you drop it, you don't have to worry about breaking it. But I will say again, once again, it's made of really good, solid premium materials. I mean, it's really solid. So, that's basically my review of the ZTE Exxon M. Um, you could get it on Amazon.com or even eBay. Um, is it worth picking up? Yeah, depending on what you want to use it for and what you need it for. And if it fits your, your needs. So, that's it. I'm going to definitely keep the device. Um, unless, you know, somebody wants it and I'll, you know, sell it, sell it to somebody. Matter of fact, <clears throat> it is somebody that's interested in in this device so i might just sell it to him because i mean i could keep it or not so it really don't matter to me because i'm right now i'm not using it i have my <clears throat> lgv30 which i love and i have my note 10 plus so i'm good <laughs> all right well thanks again for watching this video um please hit that like button before you leave and you know you can comment down below if you like if you have any questions 
Um, and subscribe if you're interested in subscribing. I drop, try to drop a new video every week. And I just want to thank each and every one of my su subscribers for supporting this channel. And God bless you all. Peace out.